What's going on adventurers? Welcome to New Cathedral Cemetery in Baltimore City. Look at all these people down here, dang. Those are huge. These people had money. Well, some they had some things. Had oh, really? Yeah. Why are those ones overgrown? I don't know. These ones are all busted up. <laughs> They're crows. That's never good. Yeah. Check it out guys, there are even headstones here in the woods. Isn't that crazy? There's some more back there, you might not be able to see them as well. Let me go ahead and try to zoom for you. There's one back there. It's so crazy. Just give you guys a little bit of an overview from where I'm standing. This place is immense. And that's just a little section of it. Alright guys, so this is section MM, aka Flu Hill. We are ready to head up in there. Here is just one of the entries. There are a few. And that's where we are going. And you're going with us. Where we're standing currently is a place called Flu Hill. And I'm going to let Lisa tell you a little bit more about that. She has some of the details for you guys. Go ahead, Lisa. Hey. So Jen and I decided to adventure down here to Baltimore today um, because this particular cemetery is very relevant to today's situation with our flu pandemic. Um, this was, uh, area was established in 1918 during the Spanish flu that hit the world and Baltimore hard as well. Um, it lasted several years as well, a lot of similarities. But they deemed this particular um, hill Flu Hill because they had so many deaths and burials um, in this particular area. So we were going to look around. Um, we do see a lot of um, headstones dated month of October in the year of 1918. And supposedly there's a lot of um, headstones dated in this area from that period. So we want to check it out. We're going to run a necrophonic session. See if we can speak to any of the spirits from that era. So we're going to take a look around. But this cemetery is huge. It's like sprawling. Oh my gosh, it is just like massive. And they have sections by alphabet letters. And uh, we want to check out too. It looks like they have some really interesting mausoleums. And uh, some of the mausoleums are actually built into the hills. I want to check those out. It's pretty awesome. If you look straight ahead, guys, I'm going to go ahead and zoom for you. But you can actually see Baltimore City from here. It's pretty awesome right there. Look at that. Nope. That is downtown that. Baltimore downtown City. Skyline. Gorgeous. Inner Harbor is right in that area, I believe. So I just want to show you, for, we were talking about it, um, the month and date, but here you go. Here's somebody that died um, October 6, 1918. Um, it's a little older, but... And then as Jen, oh, here's another one, uh, October 10th, 1918. So like, basically it was like now these whole families, like one would die after the other. Um, so Jen's gonna take take a walk around there, see if we can find some more. What are you wearing there, Lise? Oh, I'm wearing my chicken hawk. These are our new merch on our DLive channel. Sorry, I got <laughs> donuts, I got a little donut powder on me. <laughs> but um, yeah. That's awesome. Jen designed these, aren't these awesome? 
Chicken hawks. Actually, I have a different one on. Let's see. Let's show them the one I'm wearing. This one, I am especially proud of because I put the little. Oh crap! I got some icing on mine too. Just got... So, this one I'm especially proud of because it has the chicken hawk nest there with the D Live lemons. So adorable. Just in case you're wondering what we do with all those lemons you guys are hooking us up with, <laughs> we put them in our raptor nests. <laughs> Just gonna go for a little stroll um show you some of these headstones i gotta be careful and watch my footing though because it is very uneven here um but this is a beautiful cemetery just it's, it's so sprawling like i'm gonna show you guys all around me it's pretty cool here look at this i love this one beautiful this is awesome You can hear the church bells in the distance. That's pretty cool. So many people buried here, guys. It's pretty amazing. Here's another one, son Frederick, 1891 to 1918. Again, this is a young person, not an old person, you know, so Sad. it didn't discriminate. Here's another one, John. Oh, yeah. Uh, 19. No. Oh, wow. That is cool. That's she looks cool. like you. Whoa. She freaking looks like What's you. What's her name? Does it say? She looks Italian or something. Yeah, Italian is right. Marie. Oh, I can't make it out. Sort of the G, maybe. 1896 to 1918. All right, you get up there and turn around. I I want someone to tell me that you don't look like her. <laughs> Do the pose and everything. Okay. The hair's a little different, guys. This is insane. That is what there is a uh, what do you call these? Oh, what do they call that? This is it called a headstone? Uh, yeah. Headstone. Okay, so there is a headstone here, here and there is a lady on this freaking headstone, and she looks a lot like Lisa. This is really creeping me out. Look at this. That is, and look how clear that picture is. I know. This is like marble or something. She looks a lot like you. Look at this. This is so I weird. Can't quite make her name out. Marie something. Marie something. Okay, guys. So we were walking through the cemetery, and we came across this headstone, and the lady on it looks a lot like Lisa, like in the eyes. So, um. We're going to go ahead and do a spirit box session. Lisa is going to turn on the necrophonic. And we're going to see if we can talk to this lady. She actually died during the Spanish flu. She did. October of 1918. So that's and pretty it looks crazy. Like she was maybe 20, 20s, early 20s. That's insane. All right. So, as usual, we say a uh, little prayer of protection. Um, spirits, we're here to speak to you. We come in peace. We're protected by the power of Jesus. And we just ask uh, no bad energy come here. And we just want to talk to you. Amen to that. Yeah. <coughs> Who's here with us? <coughs> we would like to speak to the lady who's... um. <coughs> on this uh, headstone right here. <coughs> Who's buried here? What, what's your name? Is there a Marie here? Marie, are you here? Do you remember the Spanish flu? 
Mm. Spanish flu. What? Did you die of the Spanish flu? Ma Maria, if you're with us, can you, can you say your name? Hi. Hi, who's this? Dan. Dan? How old were you? I heard somebody say 30. Who was 30? She wasn't 30, was she? Yeah. Somebody said 30. There's also somebody here named uh, Frederick. Is there a Frederick? Is there a Frederick here? How many, how many spirits are here that died of the Spanish flu? Is the coronavirus like the Spanish flu? Uh. Hi, Lay. Did you wear a mask? Did you, any of you wear a mask? Did you say Lisa? Do you remember wearing a mask? Is Marie here with us? Marie, you can come talk to us. You don't have to be afraid. I smell, I smell charcoal. Do you? Uh -huh. Is there anybody here that was in the, in the war? Is there any, is there any soldiers here? How many soldiers are here? Can speak clearly through our, our microphonic. Can understand you. Are there any World War One soldiers here? This is Memorial Day weekend, so we're celebrating your, your um, service. Thank you so much for serving in the wars and in the military. Are there any doctors here? There were apparently a lot of doctors, just like now, that died from the um, Spanish flu. Really? Yep. Are there any doctors here? If you were a doctor that died during the Spanish flu, please come talk to us. It said this is Gary. Gary. Did you hear that? Yeah. This is Gary. Hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. Gone. Gary, are we safe here?
Lots of sirens happening uh, behind us, guys. The city's going crazy on sirens. Um, we heard them earlier. It's hit behind you. <laughs> sirens? Mm-hmm. Did somebody touch? Did somebody touch my butt? Who's touching Jen? Is there somebody behind Jen? Can you show yourself? Did you just grab my ass? I'm just kidding. <laughs> ben. 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 <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> Bend over. Chicken hawks. Can you say chicken hawk? What? D live. All right, guys. So we moved around a little bit. Now you got a view of the city and some more of the stones back behind Lisa there. We're going to go ahead and uh, continue with our spirit box session. We're talking now. Can you tell us your name? Did it say turd? <laughs> Who's here? Enrico, are you here? Do you speak Spanish? Ready? Did you die? Or uh, is anybody here that died during the Spanish flu that we turned around this way? We thought maybe we'd pick up some other spirits. <laughs> did you say? I thought I did hear COVID. What do you know about COVID? Is it going away? Is it going to last? Is it going to last as long as the Spanish flu? How many years is COVID COVID going to be around? I thought I said 10. How many, how many years is COVID going to be around? Ten. I heard 10. Eight. I thought I said 10 again. 10. Peace. I'm pretty sure somebody just said peace. Somebody just said raptors too. Peace. Gary says peace a lot. Yeah, he does. Was that you, Gary, saying peace? Are we supposed to be heading to heading to Florida in a week? Be safe to drive to Florida. Spring Hill. Mm -hmm. It said Spring Hill. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? Florida. Florida. It said Florida. Straight up Florida. That sounded like a fart. It came out of here, and then I heard it there. It said recording. It said recording. Yes, we are recording. Can you show yourself behind Lisa? We would love to see you. There's a lot of people that would love to hear from you and see you. Can you show yourself? You would be our very, 
You'd be our very first one. Whoever wants to show themselves behind Lisa, you'd be the very first one that anyone has ever seen on our videos. And if you're afraid to come by yourself, then we wouldn't have a problem with you lining up behind Lisa. The most spirits ever seen on camera. That would be pretty amazing. We would love that. How do you like the, how do you like being here for your How do you like being here for your final resting place? Is it peaceful here for you? It's a beautiful location. I think somebody said the best. Oh. Do you get many visitors here? Can you hear the music? Do you hear the music? It said everyday people. It did? It said Wait. everyday oh, people, I know. Yeah. Wow, that was awesome. Does it feel like something's touching you? Yeah. Who's touching Lisa? That's my leg that was broken. Yeah. That was saying leg. Listen, who's touching Lisa? <laughs> Did you just make her leg feel warm? Are you trying to fix my leg? Which leg did I break? Which leg did she break? It might be like a doctor spirit or something. What? Is there any doctors here? Hello. Hi, Lay. Lay, was that Lay? Was that you touching Lisa's leg? All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and close out the spirit box session, but we are going to do a live stream shortly. So if you want to talk to us, hang around, okay? We'll be back shortly. Okay, rest in peace. We'll be back shortly, but you need to stay in your resting area. We're protected by the light of Jesus and good energy. Amen to that. So that was our video and spirit box session here at Flu Hill. It got really cold and windy. So uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up, but we are getting ready to do a live stream. So hopefully you guys could check that out. If you happen to miss it though, it will be available for replay. Hopefully you guys get to check it out though live because it's more fun that way. So guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. And please, if you have not already, go check out our D Live. We will go ahead and include a link in the description below. It's so much fun over there. It's very interactive and you guys get rewarded for just hanging out with us and watching our show. So um, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of good content for you over there as well. And it's nice because we can play music and you know, it's pretty much uncensored. I mean, it's a little bit censored, but you know, for the most part, it's anything goes. So it's a lot of fun. Join us over there guys and become a chicken hawk today. All right guys, love you. And we will see you guys on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. Adventure.